Hi, it's Kip K. Welcome back to another weekend project right out of the pages of Make Magazine. Can you remember your first computer system, or more specifically, your first hard drive? I think mine was a 20 megabyte hard drive, and at the time, that was pretty large capacity. Nowadays, you can only fit a few MP3s on it, if you're lucky. Well, hard drive capacity has gotten quite large, like this drive right here. It's a 2 terabyte green drive just recently released and I'm sure in a few months there'll be even larger drives available. Well on today's weekend project we're gonna take a not used anymore 10 gigabyte hard drive and not only make it faster but also increase its storage space as we teach this old drive new tricks. <music> You can find the flash memory hard drive and other great projects in Make Volume 17. So we're going to start out with this 10 gigabyte hard drive and dismantling most hard drives requires a Torx screwdriver. I'm using this single handy tool which stores a bunch of different screwdriver heads inside of the handle. So remove all the screws to the hard drive case and don't forget the hidden screws that they put under the label, you need to get to those too. One of my favorite things is encountering the Warranty Void If Removed sticker. So we run our X-Acto knife right through the center of it, which brings great joy, and run it around the hard drive to release the tape and pop off the cover. Once inside, everything has to be removed, so start unscrewing every screw you see and remove everything on the inside, including the hard drive platter, of course, and don't forget to save what you've salvaged, including those heavy-duty fridge magnets. I'll be using this four port USB hub and it won't fit inside the hard drive the way it is so I have to remove the cover uh, have to remove I have to remove this cover I've removed all the uh, uh, the hidden screw more hidden screws okay now the cover is off which reveals just the board for our USB hub I'll be using four flash drives two 8 giggers and two 4 giggers which will complete our storage requirement for our new flash memory hard drive. I discovered that these flash drives don't fit well together, at least not four in a row, in this USB hub. So it's time to pop open the cases for these flash drives, discard those, and then everything fit just fine. And it fit perfectly inside the hard drive with room to spare. I also use some black tape inside the hard drive case so we don't short anything out. Then I dug through my small box of USB cables. So one of these days I have to get organized and I ended up with a, just a single black USB cable and I inserted that in the hub and positioned everything just right. Now I made a couple of marks on the top and bottom hard drive case and using my Dremel and a grinder I just made a small opening so that the cable could fit through when the case is closed up, which is the last step. Now I plugged the flash memory hard drive into my USB port and everything fired up. I decided to leave the two screws out of the top case because it looked really cool. You could see the glow of the USB hub and also the flash drive when it was operating. All four drives show up and not only have we doubled the capacity of this drive, we've also made it faster. Now if there was only an easy way to convert all of these removable disks to a dynamic disk, we'd end up with just one drive letter. If you happen to know the trick for that, let us know. Well that's how to make a flash memory hard drive, and we'll see you next week with another weekend project.